And then something happened which really made all the difference between 1985, Daniel Buskila, and 2023, Ilan Buskila. Both lone soldiers, both came back from wartime situations, and both are in shul to save your katagomel. Shalom, my name is Daniel Buskila. I have been a rabbi in Los Angeles for the past 30 years, uh, but I now proudly live here in Israel in Herzliya with my wife, Penny, and uh, together with our son, Ilan, who just finished his second tour of duty in Gaza, and his wife, Kayla, who are both proud members uh, attending uh, the JLIC Minion pretty regularly, pretty regularly. And I want to today tell you a story related to that Minion, which I think is very significant and important. I know how impactful it was for me um, on a particular Shabbat. So it was back in October, like thousands and thousands of people in this country that both Elon and Kayla were called up uh, in the first days of the war. Kayla on October 7th, Elon on October 9th. Kayla was taken to the north and Elon down south. And Ilan is in a combat unit and was in training for the first few weeks like everyone else. And he then went into Gaza in the very first uh, entry of the ground troops and was there up until the first and only ceasefire when they had an exchange of hostages. And when he came home after those very, very long weeks where we hadn't heard from him and of course were worried and grew a lot of gray hairs and didn't sleep much, uh, he came home and he said, I want to go to shul to save Birkata Gomel. And Ilan said, there's this really beautiful shul that has both an Israeli minyan, but they also have an American minyan of the JLIC. And I said, JLIC? I know the JLIC from Los Angeles, from Westwood, where I was a rabbi for so many years. There's a JLIC here in Herzliya. He said, yeah, actually, Dad, it's a block away from where you live. And I said, okay, if you want to go there, let's go there. And I'm gonna pause the story and take you back to 1985, when I was what they now call an English lone soldier in the IDF. But when I was in the army, I never heard the term lone soldier. This was in the 1980s. There was no lone soldier house. There was no lone soldier infrastructure. There was something called Chayal Boded, which is actually lone soldier, but nobody really spoke about that. Certainly there were not many of us. and. During that period of time, Israel was embroiled in the first Lebanon war. I had served in Lebanon for a total of four months during my service. During which time on Erev Tubishvat, my unit was attacked by a suicide car bomb. And miraculously, the 14 of us that were on the safari truck survived. None of us were killed. I was lucky to be one of the four who weren't even injured. 10 were injured. And when I came home that week, I lived in Netanya. I wanted to go to Shul to say Birkat Gomel, And I went to Shul, beautiful place, but nobody really knew me, nobody knew my name. I wasn't really part of that community. It wasn't my community, but it was the place that I chose to use to say Birkat Gomel. And I received the Aliyah of the Aserat Hadibrot, and I said Birkat Gomel. Nobody knew my name, nobody knew why I said Birkat Gomel. nobody bothered to ask. Now I've come back to Herzliya in 2023, back in November, when Ilan came home and said, I want to come to synagogue and say Birkat HaGomel. He told me of the shul and the minyan. I said, let's meet there. And both the rabbi and the gabbai were very, very sweet because I got there and Ilan was not yet in shul and I didn't know what time he was coming. Maybe he's going to sleep in. He hadn't slept for a long time. And so I said, um, he wants to come and say Birkat HaGomel, my son. So they were very sweet. They said, okay, we're going to give him the Aliyah Shvi'i, the very last Aliyah, meaning giving him as much time to get to Shul as possible. And he made it. And he got an Aliyah to the Torah and said, Birkat HaGomel. So did his friend, Ori, who's also a, what they now call, lone soldier. They both received Aliyot. And then something happened which really made all the difference between 1985, Daniel Buskila, and 2023, Ilan Buskila. Both lone soldiers, both came back from wartime situations, and both are in shul to save your katagomel. But when Ilan finished his aliyah, Shvi'i, the rabbi and the gabbai asked everybody to get up and say thank you to Ilan and Ori, who had just returned from their service in Gaza. 
and the whole minion, all these young, magnificent young people here in Herzliya studying in college, living here, many of them soldiers as well, they all got up in honor of Ivan and Ori. They applauded in a sign of gratitude for them. That warmed my heart. And I know that since he'd been home, the rabbi and his wife invited him to their house for Shabbat, reached out to them. I went back to Lebanon. Nobody knew my name, nobody reached out to me. So this is magnificent to see what's happened. Unfortunately, the wartime situations remain in Israel. But the infrastructure of welcoming, especially Olim, and I say this as somebody who now lives here, and my son is no longer a lone soldier, but he was embraced by a whole community. And that was really very, very special. And I want to thank um, Rabbi Noam and his wife and this community and the JLIC for uh, creating such a beautiful infrastructure for them. Thank you.